Hey y'all, welcome back. Today we're going to take you to Belmont, Mississippi to the Tiffin Paint Factory Tour, which was fascinating. Oh, unbelievable. And then we're going to take you back to Red Bay, Alabama to show you more of our experience getting our Tiffin serviced and more on where we stayed while we were there. Fantastic area. Love the folks and uh, look forward to going back. So stick around. <laughs> All right, so today we're on our way to the Tiffin Paint Factory. Yeah. To take a tour. In Belmont? Belmont, Mississippi. Mississippi. Which is right next door to Red Bay, Alabama. Yeah, literally three or four miles. We go from one state to another. <laughs> yeah. And so we stopped for lunch at the Old Country Store here in town, and yeah. it was really good. Yeah, good little hamburgers, very affordable, nice, friendly service. So. Absolutely. So let's go find the paint tour. Sounds good. So first of all, I want to thank our tour guides, Richard and Mike. They did a phenomenal job. Yeah, they were awesome. Going on. And as you can see here, I was trying to take notes on my phone as we went through. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. To try to remember a few key things. But. Well, here's a coach before it goes in to be painted, obviously. It just came over from the factory, just like this. Yeah, this, this facility actually used to be a mobile home manufacturing facility. It shut down in the early 2000s, and in 2004 became the Tiffin Paint Facility. And they do a lot more than just paint here. Yeah, right away they took us into uh, an area where they do flooring, and it's the... Uh, the tile floors. The tile so all floors. of the motorhomes uh, that have the tile floors and then the hard floors, the floors are done here and then taken over to the main factory. The laminate floors, like what we have, are done at the factory that's over there. Yeah, and what's really cool is they're showing this is a mechanism that lifts that floor up, but they they build a solid floor, and then they have these cutters that cut out the floor for each plan or whatever. They know exactly which coach it's going in, and and then they take these these floorings and they put them onto a um, a trailer a trailer a trailer every day they they do 11 floors because they're are approximately 11 and then they ship them back over to the uh, uh, main factory main factory and there's yep. one of those trailers yep and uh, yeah it was really neat they lay the floors actually just like you would if you were laying tile in your house it was it was interesting to watch Yep, and these again are coaches getting ready to go in and get painted. You can see they're all different colors and everything before they go in. And and uh, so right away we're, we're walking around to the entrance of the, the paint facility. And it was funny because he said, oh, they forgot to put a motor in that one. But <laughs> yeah. they actually paint the Van Lee fifth wheels here as well. So it's all of the Tiffin Class A's and the Van Lee fifth wheels that go through this facility. Yeah, right? and the difference there is the motorhome, they can drive it through the facility, so it's real easy. The fifth wheels, they had to work it out once they started doing the fifth wheels because they have to pull them through the facility. Right, and it's not all of uh, the Van Lees that come through here, um, but the ones that have the full body paint uh, are the ones that come through this facility from what I understand. Uh, pretty interesting but I mean this is such a process and so much done by hand still it was really neat to see these folks working this is the prep area where they're getting everything ready they're taping off they're cleaning the units really well on the outside getting them ready uh, to take everything that's to come to them yeah it, it it's quite the process here I found this tour every bit as fascinating as the as the regular uh, tour no doubt about it. And you know, I think this is one that a lot of people overlook. Um, but when you're in the area, you need to come over to Belmont and take this tour. It really was very interesting. You're seeing some of the paint booths. They actually have 18 paint booths that they actually use. And then they also have an additional training booth where they train the folks to use the equipment. 
they start off with one base paint. They, they spray it the base color to begin with. And what you're seeing here is they already have the base color on the units and they put, it looks like they're putting a decal on there, but that's, no, they have no decals. This is actually. It's like a masking template. Yes. Uh, and this is how they get the design. So as they go through, you know, they're gonna do the different layers of paint depending on what the design is going to be based on these templates and then just peel these templates off as they go. Yeah, and what was kind of fascinating, it's all ladies that do this, they say, because they, they, the ladies are the ones that seem to be just so meticulous. And, attention to detail. Uh, attention to detail, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and, and they, I mean, you can see, they really put the, and they're quick too. They're, this, this is sped up, obviously, but they, they really do this rather quick. It's, it's amazing, but very precise. You know, and what I really appreciated here in this paint facility, just like in the main uh, manufacturing facility in Red Bay, was the access that they gave folks on these tours. I mean, we yeah. could sit there and watch them as they worked. And it was, I mean, hats off to the folks who do this work. I mean, it is really amazing to watch them at their jobs. Yeah, so we're showing you that this is just one and then they'll add one to the top of this and continue the design mm -hmm. till they do the whole coach. And we're gonna show you here uh, a coach that's just about finished putting um, uh, these masking tapes on right here. There's one right next to it that's it's just about ready to go in and be sprayed. And this is one of the spraying booths that, that we looked into. And um, this is what the booths look like. I mean, I felt like I was in the future or something, you know. I, one of those old space movies, you know? Yeah. Uh, it, that's what it kind of felt like when you're looking in those things. And you can see she's taking some of those masks off and there's, uh, they're going through the booth. And it's, it's just amazing to me. Uh, and at each stage then, they go through and they check, you know, for imperfections as they're going to see if there's anything that needs to be redone or adjusted, make sure everything that is as it should be. Yep, and and here they're taking us to the part where they spray on the clear coat, so everybody's looking in because they're actually in process in that booth spraying on clear coat, and we'll, we're going to get a, a look at it here in just a second. We have to wait our turn. <laughs> <laughs> they said that all of the Tiffins get three coats of clear coat, and then some of the more expensive models get five coats of clear coat. I mean, look at that. It's already shining in there. But when they come out of the clear coat, they have to go into these dryers, and that's what we're about to go over to and go. They're going to take us in one of these drying units, and there's actually a coach in there drying. Yeah, it was pretty warm. Not uh, somewhere you'd want to hang out, for sure. No, I I want to say Making they said it on. it's around 145 degrees, something like that. Yeah, I don't I don't remember, but it was it was uh, it wasn't it horribly was, uncomfortable. Right. But yeah, I it, wouldn't want to hang out. It in there. was hot, and and that this is showing the front end of one of the booths, um, and this this coach is getting ready to come out of the drying unit. After they come through the clear coat and stuff, another part about this factory is they put all the finishing stuff on them. And we'll see that in a bit. But here, this is pretty fascinating. They have these really bright LED lights that after it's gone through the clear coat, they put it under these lights and lights all around it to really, you know, light it up so that they can see, again, check for any imperfections, any bubbles in the paint or the clear oh, yeah. coat, things like that. So they know if anything needs to be adjusted. That's right, that's right. I got ahead of myself there, but this was unbelievable. I mean, look at the shine on that fifth And that is wheel. a Van Lee fifth wheel, that's a beacon. Yeah, and it was beautiful. And these lights, I mean, they literally really lighted up so they can see if some of the clear coat or whatever's not on there uh, perfectly. And um, so it, it was neat to be able to see that. On this coach right here, it's about to go through another clear coat, so they're doing some sanding. 
And then we go into the room where Tom kind of mentioned earlier, the final assembly room. And this is where they've been painted, they've been clear coated, they're almost ready to go out into the world uh, like this one is here. But this is where they put on all of the exterior uh, items that they didn't want to get painted. Things like the windshield wipers, the ladders, the light covers, the awning toppers, the, uh, the, or the slide toppers, the awnings. All of those little features on the outside get put on here in final assembly. Yeah, even things like windshield wipers. Yep. You know, just all those exterior things that they took off so they could paint. Um, all those get put back on and, and, of course, awnings and stuff that weren't on there before they put on. And, you know, what's amazing is I never even thought about how many little parts and pieces there were that would fall into this category, but there's quite a bit. Yeah, there is. There's quite a few things that go on these coaches. So they do quite a bit of uh, work in this room to get it ready to go. And then this one, as we come around here, this is pretty interesting. Before they leave uh, here, they go through what they call the bubble test, where they close up all the doors and windows, and they put a big air tube flowing into the driver's side window, and they pump a lot of air in there. They spray down the outside with baby shampoo and water, and they look for bubbles that would indicate places that air is escaping. Yeah, I've never seen that at any other manufacturing tour we've ever taken. It was pretty fascinating. Absolutely. From here, they take these coaches. They're almost done. They put what's called the diamond shield on them. And that's what they're doing here. And that's basically a protective cover. Uh, to keep the front safe, the front paint safe from rock dings and things like that. Then we go into the rain test. Every single unit goes through a rain test where they pump water from all sides to check for leaks. It's 100% filtered, recycled water. Well, today we're at the Tiffin Service Center and uh, they called us yesterday and asked us to be here at seven o'clock this morning. Uh, so it was early. We had to get up early, but it was nice, and we pulled in. Um, rainy day, but inside it's it's fine. We're at Bay 49, and uh, getting some little minor repairs done while we're here. And uh, it, they really make it, it's a neat system here. Uh, it's really good for full-timers. So you bring it in. They work on it during the day and then you take it out around three o'clock every day. And if they don't finish, you come back the next day. So uh, it's nice because you're able to stay in your unit and they work on it, you know, during the day. So we'll kind of bring you along. Here we are, we made it in. <laughs> <laughs> and while they worked, Star and I hung out in the customer lounge. They actually have a non-pet friendly lounge and a pet friendly lounge. Yeah, and the coffee was great too. Yes, it was, and so was the company. Yeah. Lots co of great folks over there. Yeah, and it, it I mean, totally accessible here. Um, while they're working, we were able to go in and out and do whatever we needed to do. and. I'm just kind of showing you a little bit of the stuff they did. He was changing out a USB plug for us. And then here in this front bay, we kind of had water leaking in there. So he, he was sealing the bay for us. And they did, uh, right here, they did some work on... Um, on the slide gasket. On the slide gasket. And then on the other slide, they put a new roller on it so it would roll smoother. It was working. It just wasn't rolling real smooth. So happy with the service that we got. Oh, it was incredible. And then in the evening, or in the afternoon actually, because yeah. we'd get done pretty early, uh, we would, we'd head back over to our campground at the downtown Red Bay RV Park. Now as we come out, now this is obviously sped up. We didn't just yeah. fly through the lot here. But uh, to the left, I wish we'd shown it, but we didn't think to, that's where the Tiffin campground is. So the folks that are still under warranty. Yep, uh, and they stay for free. The first year, yeah. Yep. And then we were just not, I don't think we were even two miles away. We're nope. going to take you and show you exactly where we are on this little sped up trip. <laughs> <laughs>
in downtown Red Bay. And uh, actually, it was pretty great being over there because yep. the folks were really nice uh, that that run it for them, and, uh, or that run the place. And uh, there was a grassy area for Star. Yep. And not just a grassy area we had a dog park yeah there was a, a backyard there that was fenced from a house and they let us use the backyard for the pups which was great and we were a block off of downtown main street uh red bay so it, in the evenings we could stroll down main street and stretch our legs it yeah. was fantastic it was really nice we stayed there two weeks exactly and they had weekly rates Yes, they do, um, and they have monthly rates. Right, and uh, while we were there, uh, the weekly rates were only $140 a week, so very affordable. Full here, hookups. Yeah, here we are pulling in. And we were parked, as you can see, on concrete, which and, is nice. Yeah, not all of the parks in, in Red Bay are on concrete. This is one of the few that actually is, so that was very nice, and the hookups were great. Today, we're in mechanical, uh, had a check engine light, and, uh, and when we were at Bay Diesel, they said to bring it uh, here to Tiffin. We're here, perfect opportunity to get this looked at. Maybe nothing, but you know what? We're here, why not? Um, so, here we are, door number 42.